excuse me, she just exciting like my comics. I'm a Viking, Black Goliath, Bush. First, let's have a moment of silence for Chadwick Boseman. Thank you for everything that you've done. Your legend and work will live on. Welcome back, fellow knowledge seekers. It's my comics busting through your speakers. I am your host, Frankie J, and this is where we discuss comics night and day. But first, I need for you to hit that like, subscribe button, and bell for future notifications from my comics. Next is our salute to the up and coming comic creators. All their work is fire. You know they stuff is lit. There will be a link to their comics in the description box. Please don't be afraid to show some love. And yes, they do commissions. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Who is the first black supervillain? Was it A. Black Manta? B. Eric Killmonger? C. Bushmaster? D. The lovely and deadly Nightshade? Or E. None of the above? I'll let that marinate on your gray matter. If you guess E, none of the above, you are correct. You get a prize. Hip, hip, hooray. One of the earliest comics first black supervillains was Dr. Noah Black, a.k.a. Centurius. His first appearance was in Nick Fury, Agents of Shell number two back in 1968. Yo. L to the P. Give us some background on this super villain. Noah Black was a brilliant geneticist who was awarded a Nobel Prize in the 1930s. He attends a conference on genetics in the 1930s along with other noted geneticists in the world such as Herbert Wyndham, Arnim Zola. Yeah, this guy. Sometime after winning the prize, Black goes mad, takes the name Centurius, and seeing himself as the self-proclaimed savior of Earth, retreats to remote Valhalla Island to conduct genetic experiments. On the island, he is successful in evolving numerous monstrous creatures. During the transport of his newly created life forms to an orbiting space arc, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents Nick Fury and Jimmy Woo by chance discover Centurius' island when they are forced to crash land their aircraft. The pair of agents initially attempt to convince Centurius to return to civilization with them, but when the geneticist's plot to destroy all life on Earth is revealed, Fury and his companion attack. In a ploy to defeat the agent, Centurius attempts to transform himself into a superior being using a device called the Evolutionizer. But instead of evolving, he de-evolves into a handful of protoplasmic slime. However, later Centurius somehow re-evolves into human form, and as a member of the group known as the Conspiracy, he clashes with the heroic monster hunter Ulysses Bloodstone when the Conspiracy tries to gain untold power by gathering and reuniting the lost fragments of the Blood Gem, a mystic jewel from another dimension. However, the conspiracy's efforts ultimately fail when their essences are absorbed by an enormous crystalline creature created from the blood gem. Ulysses Bloodstone succeeds in shattering the bloodstem creature, which apparently kills Centurius and other members of the conspiracy. Years later, Captain America discovers the skeletal remains of Centurius while exploring the conspiracy's abandoned underground base. But Centurius is found to not be dead after all and is a prisoner of the raft, a prison for super-powered criminals. He escapes the prison with numerous other inmates, but I'm going to stop right there. There's more to it, but I'm going to leave it right there. Noah Black is an extraordinary genius with highly advanced knowledge of genetics, biology, and technology. He holds a PhD in physics. He was born with an enhanced mental process, which means he possesses enhanced intuition, pattern solving, information storage and retrieval, enhanced logical structuring, processing information quickly, giving him an accelerated learning aptitude, a photographic memory, and the ability to read at superhuman speeds. He built a device called the Evolutionizer device, which transformed him into a physically superior being. 
The machine enhanced physical strength equal to the peak of human potential. His physical strength is between 800 pounds and 2 tons. He can run at a speed between 36 to 75 miles per hour along with enhanced reflexes enabling him to be 3 times faster than the most accomplished athletes. He possesses enhanced durability, such as the skin, bone, and muscle tissues are augmented to levels that are three times stronger and harder than a human's, kinda like an evil Luke Cage. He possesses an enhanced healing factor capable of regenerating injured tissue, brain cells, broken bones, and torn muscles. He can heal three to four times faster than the average human, however he cannot regenerate missing limbs or organs. Now get this, he is immune to all earthly diseases, infections, and disorders. He's impervious to gas attacks, poisons, and nerve toxins of any kind, and completely resistant to diseases like anthrax, smallpox, and HIV. He possesses enhanced stamina, which means he can physically exert himself at peak capacity for several hours before fatigue toxins begin to impair him. Also, he possesses longevity. This enhancement grants him an extended lifespan by slowing the effects of the aging process due to extensively healthy cells regenerating. This will conclude the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Yo, Charles Hazleton the third. Bring that outro. Like my comics, I'm a Viking, Black Goliath, Bush.